Hello everybody and welcome to Tasso Show. We continue our trip into PlayStation now with Agatha Christie's ABC Murders, which is published by Macroids. It's the PlayStation 4 version. It has 4 out of 5 stars with 199 ratings. And the description say, the ABC Murders is an adventure and investigation game adapted from the classic Agatha Christie novel. The player embodies the famous Hercule Poirot, Hercule Poirot in a third-person perspective adventure game packed with mysteries. I don't know why I always try to say this French name in English when I could just say Hercule Poirot and use my French, uh, you know, my, my French native <laughs> accent. <laughs> anyway, so it's an Agatha Christie kitty with the ABC Murders. I did read the ABC Murders. For me, the ABC Murders was not my favorite from Agatha Christie. It's not bad, but it's not my favorite. I think I was pretty disappointed by Evil Under the Sun, if I remember properly. I really, really loved the uh, Death on the Nile. I think it was very smart. I I really, really loved also uh, the Murder on the Orient Express, which, which I think is one of the best. Um, the Murder of uh, Roger Ackroyd is probably the one of the best, best, and it's one of the first from Hercule Poirot. Um, so there's a lot. I, I think I read The Curtain, which was supposed to be the last Hercule Poirot. But actually, it's not really the last. It's just that during the World War II, I think, or World War One. I, I don't remember. During one of the World War, basically, Agatha Christie obviously couldn't work, so she put things in, in the bank, um, and there were two uh, novels in it. One is The Curtain with Hercule Poirot and one is a Miss Marple but I don't remember the name. In any case, let's play that game. Uh, for your information, when I played it on PlayStation Now last time, I couldn't make it work with my Xbox 360 controller but this time I'm using my PlayStation 4 controller and I use also the software named uh, DS4 Windows. So like that it's really recognized on my PlayStation 4 controller. So let's press the cross button and get started. Alright, I just want a profile A. Yes, we Hercule Poirot. That's good for me. Ah, there's ego points. Progress. Play bonus options profile. Okay, cool. Voice in English. Language in English and subtitles. Uh, turn on. I'm fine with that. Okay, switch tab L L1 or L1. Well, this music is cute, but it was kind of normal music. Okay, bonuses will have some kind of timeline, reconstruction, and awards. Okay, cool. Let's just get started and play. Have you seen the 50 awards to unlock? Okay, it went too fast. Okay, London, June 18, 1935, in Poirot's apartment. Well, I think the cell shading style is pretty cute. You know, it's like 13 and, and was a bunch of stuff. Some post for you, Poirot. Mr. Hercule Poirot, you fancy yourself, don't you, at solving mysteries that are too difficult for our poor thick head British police? Hmm. Let us see, Mr. Clever Poirot, just how clever you can be. Perhaps you'll find this nut too hard to crack. Look out for Endover on the 21st <laughs> oh of the Oh my god, month. that accent. Yours extra. A. B. C. B C. Oh, it's some sort of joke. Maybe. But please remind me to inform uh, Chief Inspector oh, well, Jack. Well, the Chief. Okay, we have to work with Chief Inspector Jack. Dear Hercule Poirot. Ah, I wanted to do it too. <laughs> I got a Christie the ABC murders. And yeah, the ABC in, uh, in England is basically the. In French, we name that Les Pages Jaunes, Les Pages Blanches. In English, apparently, the name is that. Uh, in, in, in Britain, in the, in the UK, the name is that uh, ABC, where you have a list of people with their um, phone numbers. 
Yep, that was how we did it in the past. <laughs> Well, I guess the style is okay-ish. I feel the 3D of the, of the backgrounds are not, it's not here, as good Baro. as the, the murder took place in this character. Street. Grim place indeed. To the fair, Hastings. The streets of Andover are in a terrible state. Look, there's <laughs> Chief Inspector Jap. He's talking with a policeman. Let us try not to get our shoes wet. Alright. So it's funny because we do that game, but we don't really explain who is Hercule or who is um, Arthur Hastings. Hastings is not on all the Hercule Poirot. Okay, help. Use the left stick to move Hercule Poirot. Use the right stick to inspect the scene. Use this to find elements you can interact with. When you find an element available, interaction will be indicated. Okay. So you see that I have that... Um, magnifying glass that I can move around with my right stick and with my left stick I can move Hercule Poirot and I cannot do anything if nothing is uh, highlighted apparently here so you can see that for example I can have something highlighted as a chat with uh, a hasting Oh, if I press up, I get those three icons, which I don't know what they mean. Okay, let's press this thing. Okay, it's objectives, chapter one, go and meet Jap. Okay, what is this thing? A notebook. What is this thing? Little gray cell. Is, is theft the motive for the crime? Help. Here you are making Poirot's little gray cells work. The aim is to answer the questions he asks himself by establishing the links between the clues in order to deduce an answer, use the directional buttons on the left stick to review available clues, press the cross button to select or deselect clues to answer the question. Okay, so far I don't have any clues, so we cannot do much. All right, my progress was saved automatically, although there's nothing really important to save, I guess. Okay. Yeah, so probably it's not that many actions that I Don't can do. Don't dilly dally, Poirot. Chap will be waiting for us. Don't dilly dally. I'm not really a huge fan of the way that you control that thing. Okay, here it says that I can look with it's triangles. It's wooden Let's vegetable that. shop as a front row seat, therefore. An employee might have noticed something. Okay, this of fruit. <laughs> okay, let's let's try it. This fruit and vegetable shop. This fruit has a and vegetable seat. shop has a an employee front might seat. have noticed. Therefore, something. an employee might have noticed something. Okay, now I need to do it with my French accent because, as you can see. I have a French accent, obviously. So let's let's try it this again. Fruit and vegetable shop this fruit has a and vegetable seat. shop has a an employee front might have seat. noticed Therefore, something. An employee might have noticed something. We love we love to use the R in special ways. Obviously, you can see that I cannot say the R. This fruit, fruit, fruit. You see, fruit. I have problem to say it, but fruit, fruit. In French, you say fruit. So. Makes more sense. Okay, let's talk to Jap before he says something. Over here, it's Hastings and Poro. You missed the nine o'clock train? We took the half past ten. Luckily, the service is good to Andover. So half past Inspector. ten. I hate that. <laughs> what do we have? The victim is called Alice Asher. She owned this tobacco shop. She was killed yesterday right. with a blow to the back of the head. At what time? Let me just check. Okay, help. Take advantage of the moments when the person you are with is busy in order to observe him, her. You will obtain clues about their state of mind and personality. Use the right stick to inspect Jap. Then select the observe interaction by pressing the triangle button. Okay. 
Uh, I wasn't very. In oh, okay. You have to press triangle, and now you can do mouse tap. Okay. Find free clues that agree with Hercule's prowess remark. Use the right stick Is to give you. Is Jack being too relaxed? Let us find the clues that prove it. Well, the hands. Relax attitude. Slight smile. Hat tip proudly on the back of the head. Jab is in a okay, good mood. Okay, so I bet he thinks he's already called the culprit. All right, that'll be interesting to see what kind of culprit you think he has. And Ali Last Sasha customer is the to one see of Mrs. Kill. Asher alive left her shop at half past five. The body was found at around eleven in the evening by an officer doing his rounds. The shop door was open. That's what alerted him. Okay. So that taken? observation thing was not very interesting. Maybe, I just you'd hardly murder went for a few on top smokes. of some stuff There's and waited for the real value in the shop. <laughs> What type of woman was Mrs. Asher? In her fifties, married but separated, no children. A husband? Aha, uh -huh. Franz Sasha, the husband. Alcoholic and violent. It's said that he regularly insulted his wife and threatened to kill her. Oh, so sad. Okay, let's ask his opinion. Let's be guilty? nice. We'll look for Franz Asher. If he doesn't have an alibi, the case is closed. A very unoriginal murder. But that. May I examine the crime scene? Of course, old chap. I'll be with you in a minute, Poirot. All right, you'll be with me in a minute. In a minute. All right, now I can investigate the price. I don't know. Okay, what's what do we say now? Press any directional button to open the investigation menu. Select brain, notebook, or objective with the up button and down button. Okay, I can talk with both of them, I can open the door, I can look at this, alright, cool, perfect. So I got that award that say cat size. I'll be with you in a minute, Poirot. Okay, you'll be with me in a minute. Oh, I can't talk with Jack anymore. I bet he thinks he's already called the culprit. Okay, let's look at... Uh, at objectives now. Okay, we have to inspect the crime scene and let's look at the brain thing. The notebook, okay. Victim, Ali Sasha. Just realized that her first name and last name have an A in it. Alice Asher. About 50 years old in Andover. She owns a tobacco shop, married to Franz Asher. She lived alone. She was killed in a tobacco shop by a blow to the back of the head. Okay, let's go to the. Um, to the shop itself, to the tobacco shop. Okay, let's open it with square. Collect ego point by acting in the same way as Hercule Poirot. Okay. What does that even mean by acting the same way as Hercule Poirot? Well, Poirot was kind of a... If you read most of the... of the Hercule Poirot, you know that he's... Um, he's a little bit of himself. Let's say it this way. <laughs> Okay, let's see the, the newspaper is here. Usually tidy for a crime scene. Okay, let's start with that. Oh. What did he think here? No sign of a struggle on the floor. Yeah, the, yeah, he's right. There's nothing that happened. Oh. I got a little bit of my... Okay. Well ordered shelf. Okay, cool. And the newspaper are all normally... All right, so we know that there were no fight. No fight happened, really. So next, let's look at uh, what else. There's apparently a book over there. Oh, there's the body of the victim. Let's look first at what the book's about. It's pretty soon 15 minutes, so I'm gonna stop because I'm trying to do those 15 minutes only. Okay, there's observation here that we need to have. Haha. Okay, let's look at that first. Observe the object from all angles with a left stick. That liquid okay. is oozing out. Is it blood? Yeah, let's see. Okay. No. Ah, it's, it's just strawberry. some strawberries that are losing their juice. They probably come from the fruit and vegetable shop opposite. 
Yeah, they should. Okay, so this strawberry, this strawberries. <laughs> Red liquid is oozing out. Let's see if I move it down. Okay, I just wanted to check. No. Okay, we already know because we already tried. All right. So there's some strawberries. In French, we say uh, fraise. If you want the. All right. What else? Oh, there's some print here. Interesting. Let's see that ABC. It's not just any railway guide. It's an ABC. It's open That's ABC is on A. a. There are <laughs> no prints on the book. Okay, no fingerprints. No fingerprints. I doubt that you would recognize that they really fingerprints at the time, but anyway. And the last. is covered with fingerprints all on top of one another. Unfortunately, it will not be possible to use them. Probably not. Okay, we looked at everything here, so. Uh, now. Let's look at this here. There are What's cigarettes behind, uh... packets in a mess on the shelf. So, new question available. How do we explain the presence of an ABC guide on the counter? There are cigarettes packets in a mess on the shelf. That's very good point. I don't know what I did. Maybe just looking at the cigarette would help me. We're gonna finish by looking at her, but first let's let's see what's happening here. Let's see if it's a theft. Okay. Object hide secrets behind complex mechanisms. It is up to you to decipher them in order to find what they are hiding. Observe the object from all angles with the left stick. When the hand icon is pointing to an element, press the L2 button. To go back, press the circle button. When the hand icon grabs an element, hold down the L2 button to take it and then move it with the right stick. Press the circle button to cancel the action. The teal does okay. not appear to have been touched. I have to check that nothing is missing from it. Okay. It would be best to examine the rest of the teal. It is blocked by something. Something is preventing the drawer from opening. Okay, I don't need to stay pressed with L2. I wasn't it sure. is blocked by something. It is blocked by something. It would be best to examine the rest of the till. Okay, let's let's examine the rest of it here. Oh, there's something up there. Oops. L2 and R. Oh. I probably need to move a little bit better. Okay, it's luck right now, that's why. A mechanism okay. has just Unlock. made a fan click. Alright, a mechanism has made a fan click. And now let's just go to here. Press open. The till is full of money, but there is something strange. Check quickly that thing. Why are the only one with Something two is hidden two. underneath? Okay. So let's go back. Is that. What kind of. What is that? Is that two cents? Is that what it is? Maybe. Let's see.
Oh, I need to pound. find the code. Oh, pam pam two. I need to find the code. Okay, there's some kind of code that we need to do. Is that a two or is that a five? Well, I, there's something, something two. Oh, there's numbers over there. So it starts with eight. Okay, middle. now I understand what to do. Okay, eight, it's finished with two and here, 852. All right. Let's go back to this. It's not that easy to control that thing. Okay. 8 5 2 Aha. And there's a key. This must be the key to the back of the shop. The back of the shop. Okay. So we'll be able to go to the back of the shop. Select the inventory object that you want to use with the left and right button. Press the cross button to grab it. Use the stick, the right stick to move the item to the right place. The objects that you stock in your inventory can also be examined more closely. All right, but first let's look at the poor lady. Okay, why this she has a, a packet of play here. cigarette next to her hand. Did she drop it when she fell? I don't think she dropped it when she fell. The person must have attacked her at the moment where she was picking up the cigarettes. I think that's what happened. This poor okay, woman's this head is resting in a very even shaped pool of blood. She just has one wound on the back of the head. There are no other wounds or signs of a struggle. I can't see any other mark on the floor. Okay. Hmm. The body is hidden by the counter and is not visible from the tobacco shop store. Many customers might have thought that Mrs. Asher had popped out. Yeah, and everything was so tidy that it would be hard to predict that she was attacked. All right, one new clue, and with a new question: Was Mrs. Asher killed on sight? And I won the award single gear. Okay, we're gonna finish pretty soon. I'm just gonna use the key now. Okay, we got five ego points. So to see the key left and right, they said okay. So let's observe the key first before we use it. A large rusty key found in Alice Asher's tilt. Okay. And I can turn it around. Okay. Now I want to I want to use it, so now I have it. Okay. And let's the door that. is locked. And I need to press X, I think they said, right? To use. Oh, I lost it. Ah, come on. Okay, now I needed to press square. Okay, now we see the back and we can see some other stuff and look into our own bedroom. But we're gonna stop here because it's already 25 minutes of playtime. So thank you so much everybody for watching. I hope you liked the ABC Murders Agatha Christie uh, game. I think it's done in a way that I would prefer actually playing it with a mouse on PC than on the PlayStation, uh, than on PlayStation. But anyway, it seems to be okay. I think that for people that really like Agatha Christie, they, they may like it. I don't know if it's exactly the same story than what it used to be, or if they changed it a little bit for people to not know actually what is the right answer if you already know the book. Um, but anywho, 
I hope you liked it. Uh, it was done by Mi Microid or something like that, or at least we saw it. Um, thank you for watching Tasu Show. I hope you liked uh, that episode. If you liked it, please do not hesitate to leave a like. Do not hesitate as well to uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Tasu Show Gaming Show, or to join my Facebook page and like my page on Facebook, Tasu Show Official. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for following me. And see you soon. Bye-bye. That was you toss us. You us toss. <laughs> Bye.